Many people with PTSD or PNES have um, this gigantic urge to get well. And with PTSD, depending on when you're realizing it's time to get well, you may have had 30 years, 15 years, 7 years from the occurrence um, that you've been making decisions that are from an unwell mind, an unbalanced life, and or a life that has become unbalanced by some event. And so it's not a matter of just getting over, you know, the occurrence of, say, PNES, where it's, I don't want to have seizures anymore. This is the date that the seizure started. But how long have you really been living unbalanced? So what I would suggest to anybody, what I suggest to anybody who I speak to, is pick one thing. We're all more or less aware of our flaws. How accepting we are of them is another matter. If you're unaccepting of your flaws, for instance, in my last video I talked about how I'm realizing that I didn't see a lot of friendships being fostered or nurtured and therefore, you know, I find myself as an adult saying, what makes a good friendship? And um, I've had a couple friends <laughs> Over, from over the past couple of years say you know how to be friends you have friends but I guess what I really mean is that um, I feel unsteady on my feet in a friendship um, because I need to, personally I know I need to be in a relationship that needs me as much as the other as much as I need the other person um, there has to be a give and take a healthy relationship is a give and take and so I need to feel useful and I need to have a, um, I need to give the other person a sense of usefulness as well. So it can't be lopsided. Um, let's say it's not friendships for you. Let's say it's romance. But did you have a good role model as far as that goes? A healthy relationship being role modeled for you. If not, that's where you can start. Uh, if you're a parent, you can look into, if you didn't have uh, a role model parent, then that's what you can look into. So the point I'm trying to make here is that there's always beginning of a journey. There's always a first step to every journey. And even though there may be many, many, many chapters in the story of recovery, you have to open the book first and start developing your character. and. I intend the pun there. Character development is necessary and love is necessary in order to evolve. So learn how to love and then you can learn how to receive love. And again, in a healthy way. So my assignment to you would be this. In a quiet space, not added to by anybody else, this is just for you and yourself, Write down one thing that you are blatantly aware is not where you want it to be. Again, it could be uh, work, it could be relationship, it could be parenting, it could be friendships, it could be at church. One thing. And then write down what you need to know in order to get it to be where you want it to be. What don't you know? So for me, I identified that I didn't have healthy boundaries. Um, and so, therefore, when it comes to give and take in relationships, I didn't know how to do that. I didn't know how to establish those healthy boundaries. So what you can do is find a book that really speaks to you, uh, or an audio book, or even a TED Talk, anything. But be proactive about this. You have to develop your character past wherever you were stunted in its growth. So be proactive. That's your assignment. God bless.